Hey everyone. Um, so my VHF antenna unexpectedly showed up today. This is Saturday. I wasn't expecting it until at least Monday, so it was kind of a nice surprise. Um, so I thought I would open it up and take a look at what I got. Um, this is the Stellar Labs 30-2475 VHF high directional antenna. Uh, and I actually ordered this from a third party seller on Amazon only because I had uh, a gift card that um, I wanted to blow on this antenna stuff. Otherwise I probably would have bought it directly from MCM slash Newark slash Element 14. And the funny thing is, uh, it, I looked at the shipping manifest and the third party seller actually did do just that. They, they put my name and address on the order with Newark. Um, but their name is the biller and had Newark ship it to me and they took $10 off the top, whatever. It's fine. Like I said, gift card. Um, anyway, so this is a, this is a, a VHF high antenna and it's actually a folded dipole, which is what this part is here. Or if you look on the picture, it's this part, round part here. And then it has four director elements on this five foot boom and then three reflectors on the back. Um, this provides about eight dB of gain, plus or minus two, depending on the frequency. And they actually give you a little rough curve there and stuff. Um, it's really lightweight. They made it out of aluminum. The whole it comes in uh, two bundles of three foot sections of random bits. And the whole weight of it is about equal to the weight of the mounting bracket that they give you that's actually made out of steel. Uh, anyways, I guess I'll probably make another video after I put it together. I don't know if I'll do it in the house or if I'll just take it up to the attic and try to do it up there when I install it. Uh, I'll probably be tempted to do it inside. Okay, so I went ahead and put it together. Here's the VHF high antenna fully assembled. Again, it's about five foot long. Uh, and this is the active element, the folded dipole. Everything else supports that. Um, it's not too difficult to put together. It's mostly a case of loosening nuts on these rod holders and then turning them 90 degrees and then tightening them back down. And then for the reflectors on the back, you have to put these rods into this holder above and below. And then this middle rod needed to be installed into the rod holder. Um, really the only part of the whole thing that I found, a lot of people have commented that the instructions are too minimal. The only part that I find confusing is this thing here is not depicted or mentioned anywhere. And uh, I think it's just a coaxial cable holder, but it, they actually pre-installed it right where they suggest putting the mask clamp on. So I'm not sure what to do about that. I might have to move it. So I thought I'd do a size comparison. In front is the VHF high antenna. The back is the UHF antenna. So the, you see the VHF is about double the size. Of course, it lays down so the boom points front to back rather than bottom to top. Um, so a completely different profile. Anyway, so I hooked up the VHF one to my TV and did a channel scan. And it actually noticed the existence of 33 channels, which is... Uh, almost double what the UHF one did. Of course, they're, neither one of them is ideally situated, both being in my house. I had the VHF one, like I showed a second ago, just laying on my bed pointing north. Um, but I, I was surprised that it picked up so many VHF channels, and it didn't actually pick up any of the... or Sorry, UHF channels. It didn't actually pick up any of the VHF channels I was hoping for yet. It almost got channel 13. So next thing to do will be to get them up in the attic and see how they perform up there.